Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my humble home, my casa, my hacienda on the windy hills of Livingston, Montana. And let's see, it's the 2nd of June of 2022. Now, what you want to do is stick around here and watch this file. The reason being is because I plan on making a horse's rear end out of myself. That ought to be worth the wait, right? I'm just kidding. Don't get up tight. Don't spank me. Before I get started here, this would be a hang in here, folks. This should be a relatively interesting subject for a few minutes. But let me wet my palate here. You know, get the dust bunnies out with a little bit of cold coffee. <laughs> and yes, the wife and I really do drink cold coffee up in the up in this cold frozen Montana here. Okay. Since it's the first part of June. Tourist season has already started here in the Yellowstone country, especially Yellowstone National Park. And we've already had a couple of bison gorings, buffalo gorings. That's where people get the business end of a bison because they don't know what they're doing. Now, look, what you got to understand about these big wild, key in on this world, wildlife, the, these wild game animals, most of them in this country up here in Montana and Yellowstone country don't like you. I, I was sitting down here a few minutes ago before I started this file. I thought to myself, what can I tell the general public about wildlife in Montana, Wyoming, the park, and all that? And it just dawned on me. Just tell them. These wild animals, these grizzly bears, the, the bison, moose, all of this stuff. These animals don't like you. So give up the idea that you're going to walk up to them, pet them, kiss them on the lips, make friends with them. You're not doing any of that stuff. Now let me tell you about these funny looking, blocky looking, big headed creatures called bison or buffalo, the North American bison. The, them animals are squatty, weird looking, cow like looking animals with great big heads. But all of that stuff that you're seeing is pure muscle. Pure muscle. A bull, a bull, a, a bison bull can weigh up to a ton. That's 2,000 pounds. They actually weigh more than a moose. And a moose is a pretty doggone big animal. They usually run around 1,500. But, but a ton is what we're talking about with these bison. They got them short little stubby horns that are probably not much more than 18, 20 inches on some of them better bulls and like that. They can take a small car, run up to it for the side of their head like this, gore the car, and, and, and literally turn the car over. One bison can turn a car over. That's just how strong they are. Well, the thing of it is, if you get in that park, park your rig alongside the road, jump out with your cameras blaring and all that stuff, and run up to a bison or a buffalo or whatever have you to take a picture, you're in that animal's space. And that animal doesn't like you to begin with. If, if, if they even feel that their rights are being infringed on or or you're being a nuisance to them, or they're in any kind of danger at all, or their little calves are in danger, they're coming after you. And it's not, it is absolutely a train wreck to have a great big bull bison gore you, flip you over his head, and stomp your guts out, if I can say that on YouTube here, without getting, without getting spanked. I, I'm just trying to save somebody's life here with this video. You know, what people need to do when they go in Yellowstone National Park, when it comes to any of these big game animals, is have respect. If you can get your picture, fine, because most people try to trip up on these animals or tip up on these animals with their cameras blaring and all that stuff, and don't realize that once you're inside that magic space of whatever with bison, I would say that the average tourist needs to stay at least 30 to... 40 yards away from them. And you're going to have to activate your telephoto lenses or whatever you're going to do if you just insist on taking pictures because that's what most people in the park are trying to do. But you get these idiots that try to walk up to these bison and pet them or think that they're going to ride them and all that. Why? Because I've seen it before. I used to live up in West Yellowstone, Montana, one of the tourist traps of the world, and I've seen a lot of stuff up there, believe you me. 
You know, I actually seen a drunken lady try, try to get on a bison at Old Faithful Inn at that store that's there. Yeah, years and years ago, back in, in fact, I remember what year it was, 1996. But she never did get on top of the bison because her drunken old man come out of the bar and stopped her. I wasn't going to stop her. He wanted to know why. I wanted to see the best rodeo that anybody had ever seen. Yeah, but you got crazy people doing stuff like that, thinking that they're going to stay away, stay back from these wild animals. And that way you you can save your hide for a new to tell, for a new day to tell a new story. Because if you put these animals in a corner, some of these animals, they're coming after you. It's that simple. They feel threatened or whatever their problem is. Personally, I don't go in Yellowstone National Park very much, ladies and gentlemen. You want to know why? Because there's stupid people in there. It's just that simple. Okay, what do I got? I got six minutes here. I, I can hang in here for just a little bit. But I'm just putting out a general warning about these wild animals. And everybody should know about grizzly bears. There is no compromising with grizzly bears. I'm not going to sit here. I put out a lot of videos on this subject. And I'm not going to say any time that you're, you're, you're in grizzly bear country, you're going to get attacked. But you need to be bear aware. Because grizzly bears in an attack, are what they call mauling, they show no mercy. Uh, let me just put it to you that way. You know... <laughs> You just do not want to fight. You just do not want to be on the receiving end of any of these wild wild animals. I don't care if it's a bison, a grizzly bear, or whatever have you. But the subject, I want to stay on point here. The subject here, it where people get in trouble in Yellowstone National Park the most, from what I know, I don't go in there very often, even though I've got a government because I'm an adjudicated Vietnam veteran, I've got a pass where I can go in there anytime I want to, but I don't. But... Uh, I almost forgot what I was going to say here. Matter of fact, I did forget. I lost my train of thought here. But, uh, oh, what I started to say is probably the most trouble that rangers have with people in that park is 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 probably getting gored by bison. That, that's what, that's, you know, more more so than getting grizzly bear attacks. But you got to be aware of all that stuff. The best policy is just leave them animals go. Leave them alone, you know, if you possibly can. Let me check the time here. I don't want to get too carried away. Okay. Respect the animals in Yellowstone Park. That's what I've got to say, ladies and gentlemen. I shall let you go. Maybe you got a little chuckle out of this movie file. I don't know. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you on down the trail. And adios, my friends.